What is going on guys? We have covered a lot of effects these past couple months and unfortunately we are at the end of our journey. But the end is a good one. We're gonna go out with a bang. We're gonna go out with one of the coolest guitar pedals, octave pedals, and its brethren, the whammy pedal. Whammy! So an octave pedal generates a tone that's either one octave above or below your original sound and then layers it on top of one another. Some octave pedals can do up to two. Um, different octaves, either uh, two octaves up or two octaves down, giving you a whole range of sound. Your octave pedal can mix your signal between either strictly only octave sound, or your original sound with a touch of octave, or a 50-50 split, or anywhere in between. Here's an example of an octave pedal used one octave above your original sound. <laughs> Example of an octave pedal going two octaves above your original sound. Here's an example of an octave pedal going one octave below your original sound. And here's an example of an octave pedal going two octaves below your original sound. Whammy pedals are similar to octave pedals in that they change the pitch of whatever sound you're playing. The main difference between a whammy pedal and an octave pedal is with a whammy pedal you can change the pitch that's either increased or decreased with a foot switch, similar to a wah pedal. Whammy pedals can also create musical harmonies that are not octaves, thinking thirds, fifths, or sixths either above or below the original sound. Check out this whammy example. Octave pedals and whammy pedals add perfect harmonies to your signal. They should be used sparingly, but they also pack a huge punch on your sound. Well, that wraps up the guitar effects series. If there's an effect that I didn't cover, let me know in the comments below. I'm making this next part short. We have a website, sustainedresonance.com. There you can find all sorts of guitar lessons, album and gear reviews, as well as what's the hottest new album coming out each week. I'm also on Instagram, where I post new content for the website, pictures of me playing around in the studio, or videos of me playing guitar. I'm also on Twitter, where anything is possible from musical thoughts to random rants. Hit the like button, and subscribe, and until next time, let the music play.